After 44 years of service, the venerable UH-60 Black Hawk finally has a replacement. After fierce competition, the Bell Textron V280 Valor was crowned the FLRAA program's pick to become America's new premier helicopter. The road was not easy, but Bell's design absolutely passed all Air Force tests, proving it is ready to enter service in 2030. The Black Hawks are still a long way from leaving their throne, but we already know the name and face of the heir to the crown. In this new video we are going to get to know its capabilities in depth, and what were the reasons that led the Army to choose the V-280 Valor. Stay with us to know everything about it. On December 5, 2022, a historic step was completed within the United States Air Force. That day it was confirmed that the Bell V-280 Valor was the winning model of the FLRAA, or Future Long Range Assault Aircraft, program, which means that in the coming years it will replace the UH-60 Black Hawk as the backbone of North American helicopters. Gone was Sikorsky's Defiant X and many years of trials, flight tests and speculation as to which would be the winning aircraft. The presentation was attended by politicians and businessmen related to development, including Scott Donnelly, President and CEO of Textron. We intend to honor America's trust by building a truly remarkable and transformative weapons system to meet the Army's requirements. We are excited to play an important role in the future of aviation, said Donnelly after the event. Their enthusiasm is understandable, the contract to produce the Bell Textron V-280 Valorant fleet is one of the largest and most valuable to the United States in almost 40 years. The first phase of the investment consists of $232 million, which will be paid in order to refine the digital design of the weapons system, the maintenance plans, manufacturing, systems integration, flight tests, and the qualification of airworthiness. The final figure for the development and production of the V-280 is $1.2 billion, but it could be even higher if foreign sales are made. Some military experts and analysts suggest that amount could be as high as $7 billion, making it one of the largest contracts in recent history. It was not for nothing that two of the main helicopter manufacturing companies on the planet were fighting to emerge victorious from the FLRAA program. The Bell V-280 Valor's journey to the throne began in 2013, when the Bell company began development and flight testing as part of the joint multi-role technology demonstrator program. Later the competition to replace the UH-60 Black Hawk was launched, and Bell did not hesitate to enter. The model's progress continued apace, and as flight tests returned positive results, its chances of becoming America's new premier helicopter became more real. On Bell's side, CEO Mitch Snyder stated, This is an exciting time for the U.S. Army, Bell and Team Valor as we modernize Army aviation capabilities for decades to come. Bell has a long history of supporting Army aviation, and we stand ready to equip soldiers with the speed and range they need to compete and win. Snyder's words serve as a basis to know in detail what this platform offers the United States Air Force. The V-280 Valor is a multipurpose military aircraft, classified as a convertiplane or tilt-rotor aircraft, which has both vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, as well as short takeoff and landing capabilities. It is designed to reach a cruising speed of 520 km per hour, reaching a maximum speed of 560 km per hour, with an effective combat range of between 930 and 1480 km. To achieve these numbers, it employs two Rolls-Royce AE-1107F model turboshaft engines. The maximum takeoff weight is around 14,000 kg, something essential if we consider that it will replace the Black Hawk, one of the best utility helicopters in history. The Bell model will be able to transport a crew of four people and another 14 fully equipped soldiers. Dual cargo hooks give it the lifting capacity to carry heavy machinery, such as the M777A2 howitzer, making it vital in projecting U.S. military power into remote territories. In terms of design, the Bell V-280 has a length of 15.4 meters and a width of 24.9 meters, which makes it somewhat shorter than the UH-60 Black Hawk. The wing surfaces and sides are sandwich-shaped, reinforced with large cell carbon cores to use fewer parts, 
reducing overall weight. We also note that the wings are made from a single section of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, which reduces production costs, a feature valued by the Army after problematic experiences designing the F-22 and F-35, projects that cost millions of dollars and whose maintenance is almost as expensive as production. The rest of the technical features of the Bell V-280 are still unknown. However, Defense News points out that the project is in the development phase to adapt the helicopter to the needs of the United States Armed Forces. The first aircraft is scheduled to enter service in 2030, although the U.S. may be interested in selling Bell V-280 Valor models to other countries, a quick way to recoup the Titanic investment made during the development program. The FLRA program had a series of basic requirements to ensure that the new ship was a step into the future and not a technological step backwards. The helicopter was to have an autonomous combat radius of 560 km for the Army and 830 km for the Marines. Regarding the continuous cruising speed, the aircraft had to be handled between 520 and 611 km per hour. In the case of the Army, the maximum load capacity had to be 1,500 kilograms or 8 passengers. As for the Marines, it was to be 2,400 kilograms or 12 passengers. While the V-280 doesn't meet all the desired goals, it is the most balanced, powerful, and cost-effective option. For sure, a determining factor in the choice of the Bell V-290 Valor is the recent experience gained with the design of the V-22 Osprey. Although they are not comparable designs, thousands of flight hours accumulated with Ospreys operated by the Marines, Air Force, and Navy have allowed Bell to perfect many details and technical aspects of this machine. All of that expertise was applied to the impressive V-280 Valor. By obtaining this multi-million dollar contract, Bell has managed to guarantee the full occupancy of its production lines for the V-280 Valor. The company's next objective is to conquer the FARA program, or Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, for which it presented the Bell 360 Invictus helicopter, which seeks to become the replacement for the AH-64 Apache for reconnaissance missions. At the moment, there is no news about that competition, but it is expected that it will soon have a resolution. We have reached the end of the video. If you want to receive all the news from the world of aviation, we invite you to subscribe and activate notifications. We say goodbye until the next episode of Military Aviation.